Here we go, guys. Wednesday. Three down now. Two to go. All right, guys. Um, you know something? Our season is over. The Dallas Cowboys will be watching the playoffs sitting on the couch. Deja vu. 25 years of sitting on the couch. Watching other teams hoist the Lombardi Trophy. How does that make you feel? Yeah. Speaking of the Cowboys, every jabroni is talk now wants to talk about, since we're sitting at home, now everybody wants to talk about Dak Prescott's contract. Every jabroni wants to make a top five Dallas Cowboy. Who should the Dallas Cowboys pick? Who is our top? Who do you think? Who do you, uh, who, top, uh, here we go again. We're about to get flooded with videos about picks again. Picks. We get picks every year. Yeah. We've had first round picks every year. First round, so-and-so pick. Eighth pick, tenth pick, twelfth pick. Yeah, uh-huh. For 25 years, we've had a lot of talented picks. Yeah. A lot of guys, a lot of Super Bowl caliber picks. Uh-huh. Hall of Fame, future Hall of Fame players. What does that do? What, what, what has that done for us? Have we got any Super Bowls from these so-called picks? Will we get any Super Bowls from these so-called picks? Will it help us? It's been 25 years of mediocrity. I don't even know if that's a word, but it sounds right. It sounds good. You know what I'm talking about. Can we trust a good draft pick? Can we trust the Dallas Cowboys to bring a dog in here? I'm talking about a real dog. Is it even worth our time? Are we just getting on here are these jabronis on YouTube just getting on here for views? Because obviously our time has been wasted. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Including mine. My time has been wasted. This past season, my time was wasted. And if you're a Dallas Cowboy YouTuber and you're watching this video, I know it's hard for you to watch it. Because you know how Dallas Cowboy YouTubers are out there. Ah, oh, just watch my videos. Don't watch nobody else's. Yeah. You know, you know who I'm talking about. The ones that don't like to give other other Dallas Cowboy YouTubers props. Yeah. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. And you're probably watching this video right now. But I don't give a damn. You know, you know Cowboy Nation is the most divided damn fan base in America. Damn near like black on black crime. But anyway, can we trust a good draft pick? I'm spitting, I don't care, shit. Can we trust a good draft pick? I don't. Prove 
me. I'm at the prove me wrong state right now. Prove me wrong. I'm that's another t-shirt. Yeah, that's another one. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong, cowboys. Cause I've been right ever since. I've been right for 25 years. I finally want to be wrong. I'm the only, I repeat, I say this all the time. I'm the only cowboy fan on YouTube that wants to be wrong. All these jabronis on here want to be right. Oh, I, <laughs> what I say is right. This guy does this. This guy does that. I don't give a damn what this guy does and don't do no more. I want to be proven wrong. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So y'all got too much pride for that. Y'all don't want to be wrong. All you mother want to be right. Well, I've been right for 25 years about this damn team. So, so, so we're not going to get nowhere talking about Jack, Jack, Jack Prescott's contract. We probably won't hear shit about that until next season. Until the season starts. Right at the last minute. So Jerry can bait y'all all the way up until training camp. If we have a training camp. Hell, I don't know. COVID-19 still exists. But let's talk about the draft. Since every Jabroni wants to, wants to make videos about drafts. Let's go there. Y'all want to know my prediction for this draft? I don't have one. But I will say this. Our offense is, if you, if you look at the offense, we got wide receivers. We got a quarterback. Andy Dalton's trying to move on. He think he's a, a Hall of Fame Super Bowl winning quarterback now that he don't want to have a three-game winning streak against team under 500. So let his ass go. I get tired of the Andy Dalton, Dak Prescott issue anyway. Let him walk. He didn't do shit for us this year anyway. We sitting at home right now. But we got the, I think our offense is pretty good. Like I said, we got wide receivers. We got tight ends. We got two tight ends. Schultz has really stepped up this season. I don't know. It might be a position battle right there. But that's another video. We got two running backs. We got supposedly the highest paid, best running back in football, Ezekiel Elliott. Supposedly, haven't been living up to the fact. But has shown spurts and signs of life throughout the season this year. So there's your wide receivers, there's your quarterback, there's your running back. Kellen Moore coming back, uh, he's done some good things. I'll give him a chance. Fuck it. What else can I do? We got him, we got him for three more years. Ain't nothing you or I can do about it. I'll, the most important thing of a football team, which controls the offense and the defense, is the offensive line. Look. I think we have our offensive line, guys. All we got to do is get some guys healthy. We got them. They have, they've had all season, McGovern, all those guys, they've had all season to learn and make mistakes and get better. Get Zach Martin healthy. Get Collins back. Tyron Smith. I know y'all say, hey, 1980, I think it's time for Tyron Smith to go. He gets hurt every season. He only plays, what, eight games a year. But I, I'll take a sip. I'll take an 80, 85 percent Tyron Smith over a starting uh, uh, tackle in this league any day. We get him back healthy. And we got Beardis at center. And Joe Looney as a swing guy. There's your offensive line. Connor Williams, uh, you know, we got McGovern, which I think is better, a better fit. So I think we're good at the offensive line. Maybe get somebody, maybe snatch somebody out of free agency, you know, a swing, another swing guy, then you're good to go. 
But this year's draft, guys, every goddamn pick we got, every last one of them, should be defense. Should be defense. Yeah, I said it. 1980, a guy that wants an offensive lineman in the draft every single year is saying draft all defense. Get you a safety. A linebacker or two. Get you a couple of defensive tackles. A couple of them. Like three of them. Just in case. Matter of fact, your first pick should be a defensive tackle. Some of a, a, a nasty, mean. Y'all, y'all remember that movie, The Program? Somebody like that. Somebody talks shit at the line. Somebody's like 6'4", 400 pounds. Nasty. That's what we need. And that's all I got to say, man. Get your, get your, get your safety. You know what I'm saying? Uh, corner, I think we're okay at corner. But get you a corner, too, if you need one. But it should be all defense all the way across the damn board. And that's all I got to say about that. Make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up because you never know. What the day is going to bring you? Hello back at your boy. I'm out. And the only thing else I got to say is...